Hey what is it guys, my name is Eric and welcome to a real quick Blender tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing guys how to convert an image sequence, much like this one, uh, into a playable video straight out of Blender. All you have to do is open up Blender, I'm just going to make a new file under the general uh, option here. Um, open up any workspace, select any of the windows here and convert one of them into a video sequencer. From the top here, select add and image slash sequence. Find the folder where you have all your images at. I'm going to select all of them by pressing A on my keyboard. You can obviously highlight the ones you want to use by holding down shift and clicking between two of them or dragging with your mouse one, uh, holding down mouse one and just dragging around. I'm just going to press A and select all of them. Press on add image strip. It will open up the image images as uh, image sequence down here. Then go over to your render options here. Um, set the resolution so it matches with your initial input of the image sequence so each one of mine were 2560 by 2560 if you change the resolution here it was just stretch and warp around or convert your uh, all the frames into that resolution set a frame rate so mine is at 24 frames per second then the frame range so 1 to 100 because i run at 100 frames obviously this is all down to your own sequence of images uh, down here in output, select an output where you want the, the video file to go to. I'm going to select cache result just in case. File format, this is the more important bit here. Select one of the movie options. I recommend using FFmpeg video. Uh, under encoding here, you have to press this uh, arrow here to get more options. Under container, select MPEG4. Uh, video code H.264. Uh, output quality, I use perception lossless or lossless, depending, depending on what I'm doing. Uh, perception lossless would be okay, it's basically the same as lossless as the name uh, suggests. Encoding speed, I usually have slowest, it's not really that slow, unless your computer is really slow. Uh, the faster you have it, the faster it's gonna encode, but the worse results you're gonna get. Audio, select the audio format you want to have if you had any audio i didn't have any so no idea for me and under post processing i recommend disabling compositing so any options in compositing here that you have set up will otherwise go onto the video unless that's what you want to do you haven't done any pre-compositing on each of the frames you rented out then this is a great way to add it all in uh, now but i've already done pre-compositing i've done compositing options on each of the frames beforehand so I'm not going to do that. I don't want that. Uh, make sequencer. Keep that on. And then go over to your um, render properties here. And another thing you can check for is the color management option. And make sure that the fuse transform uh, under here. Sorry, the look option is set to none. If you have something set up. Uh, I have it on high contrast because this is a setup of a general file that I have uh, from a previous project I've done. So the look I've set to none now because otherwise it's going to overwrite your settings and it's going to add a look to it and make everything more contrasty. Again, if that's what you want to add later on, if each of the frames you had rendered at an, a look of none, so you had every frame rendered with the none option and now you want to add the contrast in or whatever, you can obviously do that. Once you've got all those settings set up, go to render and render animation and it will start going through each of the frames for me for some reason the sequence is going backwards i'm not sure why uh, but it doesn't really matter i'll be doing a lot of post processing uh, and pro post editing on this anyway uh, but basically it's going to go through and render each of the frames and in the end what you'll end up with um, obviously don't close your own render i already pre-rendered mine you'll end up with a, a video file with the number sequence there as the title and it's going to have all of the images as the frames of this video. And that's it for today's tutorial. Thank you for watching. Click that like button, click the subscribe button and leave a comment below. Cheers.